Bart and Bobcats. Oh, that was a good one. We've been practicing, everyone. Thank you for coming to this wonderful grand opening of the beautiful new school in North Redmond. I'd like to begin by, because we've been practicing, standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. So, the Bobcats, please stand. Quiet, Kitty. Put your hands over your heart and begin. self-discipline, it means that you are quiet and calm during assemblies. I would like to introduce our first special guest for our event, Dr. Jane Stavum. She's our superintendent of Lake Washington Schools. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm so pleased to join you as we have this special occasion where we celebrate the opening of one of our two newest schools, Clara Barton Elementary. Boys and girls, we are so proud of you and the way that you have already done such a good job of representing your school. And we want to welcome some very special guests that we have with us today to celebrate. And when I introduce you, if you would just wave at our audience so they can see where you are, it would be great. First of all, um, joining us today with our elected officials is U.S. Congresswoman Representative Susan Del Bene. Thank you, Susan. Washington State Senator Monica Dingra. And Redmond City Council President Angela Burney. Thank you so much for joining us. Next, I'd like to represent um, from our community Maxine Wadham, Director of Redmond Parks and Recreation. And then, boys and girls, I'd like to introduce um, what's called board members. And those are adults from our community who help us make sure our school district has all of the right things that we need to have great schools and do great things for kids. So I would like to first recognize board president, Siri Gleesner. <laughs> board member, Cassandra Sage. Joining me to my left with great timing is Vice President Mark Stewart. Next, I want to introduce our Executive Director of the Lake Washington Schools Foundation, Larry Wright. Joining us from the Lake Washington PTSA as President is Mindy Lincecombe. And then the people that I get to work with every day, first of all, I'd like to introduce Deputy Superintendent John Holman, <laughs> Associate Superintendent Matt Bonabianco, Associate Superintendent Mike Van Orden, Associate Superintendent Barbara Posthumus, and Director of School Support for the Redmond Area, Suzanne Sullivan. And then the people who work closely with our school buildings is our Director of Support Services, Forrest Miller. We also want to congratulate Forrest on his upcoming retirement at the end of November, and we certainly want to publicly recognize and thank you, Forrest, for your work in these beautiful facilities that we have. Then I want to introduce the Associate Director of Support Services, Brian Buck. who helps us with our great communications and letting people know what's happening in our district, Director of Communications, Shannon Carthamer. Thank you to everyone for being here. Next, we need to do some introductions of the people who really worked on actually designing and building this beautiful school. So I'm going to ask Forrest Miller to come up 
and introduce the people whose work we are enjoying now as we um, sit in this beautiful school. Thank you, Dr. Salem. It does take a lot of people to plan and to design and to build a school. And so we want to introduce to you those people, some of the people that helped us with that. Uh, first of all, the architects, they're the designers for this school, are BLRB architects. And so everybody, come on. Very, very hot. built this school is Ian Builders. And construction management is by OAC Services. And particularly I want to really thank Andrew Saul. Stand back up, Andrew. He is the project manager for this job. that also helped us look at plans and give us suggestions and give us input to make this building the best it could be. And so I want to recognize Mr. Gid Palmer in the back. He is uh, part of our Design and Construction Advisory Committee, so thank you. And then also, we had somebody photographing, a company photographed the school from the very beginning when there wasn't any building on here, just trees and, and uh, plants and the bobcat. And instead, we, uh, this person, this group has photographed the school from the very beginning all the way to the end. And so Tim Rice Photography, if uh, he would stand as well as the other people. We also had a long-term facility planning task force that was involved in this project. And so, Mindy, I know that you were on that. You can raise your hand. But was there anybody else from the long-term facility planning task force? Okay, great. Mindy? Oh, and Karen. Karen, there you go. Principal. Uh, thank you very much. Mrs. Downs. So next, we have a really special honor all together as our school community, students and teachers and parents, I'll bet you'll be able to sing along too. We are gonna do our very first ever performance of the Clara Martin School Song, Run With Pride. The students have been practicing, they're excited to perform for all of you, and I hope you enjoy this original song by music teacher Stephanie Torrey. Bobcats, please stand.
loud guys. At this time, I'm going to invite to the podium again our school, our district superintendent, Dr. Jane Sato. We have the best job in the world. Whenever we hear boys and girls doing such a great job singing like that, I'm just reminded how fortunate we are to be educators with our students. Boys and girls, I'm going to talk with you this afternoon because you are really the most important people here. Because the reason that we build schools is for kids to go to school and learn great things. But I want you to think about something while we sit in our brand new school today. And while I want you to think, I want you to be super, super quiet so your brains can work really, really hard. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to look up at the ceiling without saying a word. And in that ceiling, you see lights and some wires and some paint colors and some big tubes that go around, and somebody's job was part of making all of those pieces fit into place in just the right places in that ceiling. And so someday when you grow up, you might be the person who helps make the things that go into the ceiling of a school. Now I want you to look down. And if you look at the floor, somebody needed to make the floor that you're sitting on, and they found out just the right way to make that plastic and those things come together so it would be really strong when you play and run and jump in here. And then you see some colors on the floor and on the wall, and with a silent raise of your hand, who loves to look at bright colors and see how they go together? Yeah, somebody's job is to make sure that we have just the right colors chosen for the walls and the floor and all of the different furniture that you see in the school. They're a designer, or maybe they make the floor. And so right here in this one room represents the jobs that you might have someday when you grow up. And to do those jobs, you need to be great readers, and you need to know how to do math, and you need to know some science to put things together and see how they work. And you need to know how to talk to people and work together and be collaborators. That's what we call people who work together. So when we had the different people stand over here, they worked together to make all of these things happen that turned into your beautiful school. And do you know that when you are grown up, you might even have your family who goes to this school. You might know people when you're a grown-up, just like we know people from when we were grown-ups who went to school with us. And so we are really lucky that we have great places for kids to learn and grow in our brand new schools. And we are so appreciative of the people who made that possible because now you get to grow up and do the great things that you're interested in because you're gonna be good learners now here at Clara Barton School. So we're thankful to all those people Parents, would you raise your hand? We also want to recognize you today, parents and guardians of our students. We appreciate you because you also got to learn new routines. Oh, they really want to recognize you. Okay, boys and girls, you can sit down because you know them already. <laughs> but we know you had to learn new drop-off routines and new ways of doing things in a brand new school, and we appreciate that as well. It's a big change for everybody. Now, I want to introduce our board president, Siri Bleesner, and she has some things that she would like to say to our group today as well. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome everyone, students, teachers, staff, parents, and community members. On behalf of the Lake Washington School District Board of Directors, I'd like to thank you for coming and being part of this community celebration. I am honored to be here at the official opening of Clara Barton Elementary, a school designed to inspire students for years to come. I would also like to just take a moment to thank everyone involved in making Clara Barton Elementary a reality. The teachers, the principal, staff, leadership, our construction partners, our PTAs, 
And I'd also like to call on our community because without your support, we would not have the opportunity for this celebration now. So as I was preparing to make remarks today, I Googled Clara Barton to learn a little bit more about her. I had known she was the founder of the American Red Cross, but I found an interesting fact that I had not known before. And I found out that Clara Barton's first job was as a school teacher. That's right, just like your teachers here, that's what she did at first. And as a teacher, she established one of the first free public schools in New Jersey. And this all happened when she came to Bordentown, New Jersey. That's a city on the East Coast, the other side of the United States. And as she walked around that town, she noticed that there were kids on the street who weren't going to school. Because at that time in New Jersey, most families had to pay to go to school, and many families didn't have the money. And Clara Barton believed that education was for everyone, so she was determined to do something about it. So Clara asked the local town for help, much like we do now with bonds and levies, and the local school committee listened to Clara's ideas and agreed to let her open a free public school. And she was so excited. She had a one-room schoolhouse. So when she opened the door that first day, you know what happened? Six kids showed up. Yep, that was it. Only six kids made it the very first day. She was a bit disappointed, but it didn't stop her from continuing with her dream. She kept teaching each day, and she was such an amazing teacher that the word spread and more kids wanted to come to the new free public school. And within a year, they had over 600 students enrolled in that school. That's about the size of your elementary right now. So with this many students, in 1853, the town voted to build a new school. And so Clara had done it. With the support of the town, she succeeded in establishing one of the earliest free public schools in New Jersey. Quite an accomplishment. And so in closing, when you walk through these doors here of Clara Barton Elementary, learn all that you can and remember Clara's inspirational story. And as your school vision statement says, be a person like Clara Barton who makes a positive impact in your school in your community and in your world. So thank you very much and congratulations on the new school. Next, we'd love to hear from Redmond City Council President Angela Bernie. building, this amazing school, this amazing community. I'm so thankful that all of you chose to, your families chose to live in Redmond, you chose to make this part of your community, you chose all of these beautiful colors, the building, the space, you chose to honor the trees around you, and I love that you chose to honor the bobcat, which I don't live very far from here, I'm pretty certain your bobcat has visited me a few times. So thank you so much for having me here today, and I want to make sure you realize how great a community we have. If this is a long time in coming. My children went to Rockwell, and when my oldest child went to Rockwell, the school had 450 kids in it. And by the time my youngest left Rockwell, I'm pretty certain it was well over 600 students. So all of the families, all of the people in your community work very hard to make this space as beautiful and perfect as it is for all of you to get the best education you possibly can get. And I hope that leaves you with the best foundation for you to go on and do whatever it is you want to do with your lives. Fantastic place. Thank you so much for having me here today. Thank you, Next, we'd like to welcome Washington State Senator Monica Dingra. Monica, thank you for being here. and excited to be here uh, today because I actually live just down the street and I 
take my kids and my dog for a walk right in front of your school. So I saw when the trees were cut down, when the building first started being built, and then when it was completely done. So it is actually really amazing for me to come inside and take a look at this beautiful school. And I just want to say that a school is so much more than a commodity. It is not just a building with bricks and mortars. It is a community. And we have to make sure that this is a very strong community. And I see that strong community when I see all of you children here, your parents here, the teachers here, the staff here, everyone who works so hard to make sure that as a community, we are going to make sure that you kids are as successful as you can be. And part of that community means that we're always working together, helping each other, and doing the best we can. And I am honored to be a part of this community as well as be your senator. And I can say, two of my friends are actually your teachers. So it's lovely to have them be part of this new community. Thank you. Next, I'd like to invite Congresswoman Susan Del Bene. We are so honored you are here. Thank you for coming. Hello, Bobcats. It, it is great to be here. I'm so excited. I represent you out in Washington, D.C. Does anyone know where Washington, D.C. is? It's a long way on the other side of the country. And yet I'm so lucky because I get to be home today in our state of Washington. And I'm so excited I get to be with all of you to see your beautiful new school. Um, this, as we just heard, your school is named after an incredible woman, Clara Barton, who was a great teacher, but also wanted to help people all across our country. And she did that with the American Red Cross. And so we know that when young people get a great education, they can do amazing things just like we expect all the Bobcats to do. But it takes incredible teachers. I just want to thank all of our teachers for the great work you're, you do and that you're doing for serving our communities. Can we all give a round of applause to our teachers? When I grew up, I had to go to a different school almost every year because we moved a lot. And so I got to see a lot of different schools. Um, but I got a great education, even with all of those schools, and I got to grow up and make a difference for my community. So appreciate the incredible school you have here. Thank you for letting me join you, and we look forward to seeing great things from all the Bobcats. Opening a school is no small feat. And it is um, many, many months and even years in the making. And so we want to recognize Principal Baker um, this afternoon. And uh, I have to, Barker. Baker, Barker, Barton. It is a lot, isn't it? <laughs> Principal Barker and her work with the staff here. We know that so much of the success of a school depends on the vision that a principal has and begins to then um, form with the people that she invites to work as part of a new team. So we're excited for you, and with that, Karen? Yes. Thank you, Dr. Seaman. Boys and girls, and really treasured guests that are here today, I'm so glad that you are able to celebrate with our community, our students together, what I always wanted to be my dream school. My dream is becoming a reality because of so many people that helped make it real. My dream was to have a school that had rigor in academics, but also was focused on social and emotional learning skills and building character for the leaders of tomorrow. I believe that that would happen if we had critical success skills that were taught in every classroom. Bobcats, you've all been learning about grit and empathy, integrity and self-discipline, and how to embrace the diversity of our culture and find the strengths in all of us so that we can improve our world. We're doing it. It's become real. 
We've heard a lot about Claire Barton and why it was we honored our school after her. Not only as a teacher, but someone who believed that men and women should have equal rights. Someone who, at a time that she couldn't serve in the military, decided to become a nurse and help people in the Civil War that were hurt. And after the war, she decided there was still a need. People needed help in our world. So she created the American Red Cross. She was a leader that changed the world. And that's what we want for you. Boys and girls, you are going to learn things at Clara Barton that will change our world. And I am so glad you get the opportunity to go to this wonderful school. Finally, my thanks begin with our generous community, not only the voters that supported the bond and levy measures that helped the school become a reality, but to our local community that have been so incredibly generous. You have donated to our new PTSA. You fulfilled teacher wish list dreams. You asked, how can we help? And you have responded to every call. So I just really appreciate our Claire Barton community members. Thank you so much. educator knows, but maybe not every student knows, is how important the PTSA is when you are putting together a new school. And I have had the good fortune of having the most incredible people to work with on our PTSA that have really helped the staff come up with the vision for how it is we can be that great community. If you are a PTSA board member, would you please stand up? Come on, I see you. This is the most incredible group of parent leaders I've ever had an opportunity to work with. They are fantastic. Thank you for your efforts. Next, I want to give some really, um, I think, important gratitude to the staff of Claire Barton. Some of these teachers have been working on this school for a year and a half already. They planned weekends and nights and summers, and we took days out of the classroom where they had to write sub plans, and they have been working, working, working. My dream couldn't have been anything without the staff of Clara Barton. So at this time, if you are a staff member, please stand up and let's give a round of applause to the teachers of Clara Barton. Next, I want to thank my school district team, Sue Ann Sullivan, Kim Malongo, central office leadership, who tried everything they could to get you what you needed to start the first day of school and have this great event. I just so appreciate everything that you've done to help us. And then finally, I want to thank my family who are here today. And without their love and support, I couldn't have had my dream. So to my beautiful husband and my kids and my mom and dad, I'm just really grateful you could be a part of this and that you supported me so I could do whatever I needed to do. Long nights, long weekends, no summers. Um, but we did it and I couldn't have done it without you. I just really appreciate what you said. So Bobcat, stay quiet while we all get set up, and then you'll have an opportunity for us to have the raw opening of Claire Barton Elementary.
Ambassadors, come on up. We have some students that have been selected as the ambassadors of our students to be a part of the ribbon cutting. demonstrate what it is to be a Claire Barton Bobcat. We're so proud that they could be a part of this. Okay, so this is the ribbon cutting ceremony, and that's a big ribbon. And what do you need to cut a big ribbon with? You need a big scissors. <laughs> So I need your help to count down from 10 to 1. Already? Ready? Yeah. 10. Thank you. 